Ah, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to do a short review of my Daisy Powerline 880 here. Now, this is a pump-up pneumatic rifle. So this is the pump handle here. Now, I'm going to through it first. The actual uh, build quality is very good. It's 49 pounds for sports guns. They're really, uh, really reliable, good service they do as well. So, highly recommended. Now, this is all uh, plastic. You'll see it's really for uh, cheap pieces right-handed, okay? Now, it's really well, good solid uh, stock. So, even though it's plastic, it's really well put together. Uh, the actual uh, 8.8 has been around quite a long time now. So, obviously, over the years, I've refined it. This is plastic, obviously, uh, and this as well. Now, from the from the rear woods, you've got your stock. I'll come in closer, you can have a, a closer look at it. So, it's, it's nicely nicely made. Quality is very good. Now, we'll go into the actual loading and the cocking of it. I'll show you through this now, okay? So, what you've got, you've got this, this is your bolt lever here. Now, you can't actually fire this uh, without having cocking it first, okay? So what you've got, you, you cut this bolt back, you watch the trigger, the trigger comes forward. So that out opens the breech, okay, for loading, but also cocks the, the trigger, okay. This is your safety here, you've got cross bolt safety, okay. So that is off and that's on. So you push it on from the left hand side, so that's on. Okay, when it's off, there's a red mark on the cross bolt. You can see it from here, there it is, there you see. So that's off. So when you push it on, that vanishes. So that's it set to. So, rare, basically, when you want to switch it off, it's designed for a right hander, so you push it with your finger, push it off. Okay? So the trigger won't fire with that on. Okay? Right, now to pump it up, right, you can't pump this up until you've cocked the bolt back because it doesn't close the air reservoir, okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, two pumps so you can uh, do. A minimum of two and a maximum of ten with this rifle, okay. And you can dry fire pneumatics, okay. So we're going to cock it twice or pump it twice, you'll say. So you pull, grab the handle, just unlatch it all the way out and back, okay, like that. So that is two pumps, okay. Now, what you're going to do, you want to do to fire it, you've got to push the bolt forward and close the breech, okay. And you'll see the probe go forward. See, there it is and you push it all the way forward and that would push the pellet or the BB into the breech, okay? And then the only thing you'll do there is obviously push the safety off, you pull the trigger, you'll squeeze it and you'll hear it go. Okay, that's two pumps, okay? Now somebody was asking me the other day how loud this is on 10, okay? So we'll, we'll pump 10. So put the bolt back, put your safety on, okay? So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's it, all cocked up, ten maximum. Okay, like I said, you can't fire this unless the actual bolt is forward, so push the bolt forward and then push the safety off. So this Rifle we know is unloaded, obviously you know, it's been safety shipped before I started this review. So if I squeeze the trigger now, you'll hear it. Now these are pretty good mics on this camera, so you'll notice that this is exactly how loud it is outside. Okay, so that's no louder than my Electro pistol, okay. So it's not overly loud. Uh, I don't think it's going to scare the neighbours. And uh, the time between shooting, obviously, um, it's going to be lengthy because it's not like it's a repeater where you could just carry on shooting. You've got to pump it, load it. Loading can be a bit fiddly. I find the best way, because I only shoot pellets with this, I always find the best way is to pull the bolt back, okay, put the safety on, and then uh, there's like a, a flat tray here, and I find the best way is to line your pellet up with the back lip here, and actually roll it, let it roll down, just tilt it towards and let it roll in into where the silver is. Now, that silver in there is actually magnetic because it's, it's actually designed to hold steel BBs. So if you fire copper coated lead or lead pellets, um, that, that won't happen. So um, with, a, with a pellet, you've really got to, um, you can try to put it in, it, it can be fit, it can flip over. So I found the best, the best way is actually just use this rear lip here and just rest it on the lip and then just let it roll into the actual, into the loading tray 
then just push the probe forward and that'll push the pellet into the breech okay so that's it already now obviously you can fire this without even pumping it okay so if you want to get used to the trigger or you know uh, hold and aim you can actually just fire it so you've got to cock the cock the bolt back but you can't pull the trigger until it's actually pushed forward okay like so okay so you can actually completely dry fire this yeah with no air in it at all okay um, going over the actual uh, quality of this out of it is all uh, plastic the actual dovetail is molded as well but it's really solid uh, I've attached a 6x40 scope to mine because I don't see iron sights very well uh, I have shot this with iron sights and they, they do work very well if you can see them but this rifle is accurate well I've had it out to 35 yards freestanding uh, a bit of hitting spinners freestanding from there all the way down to where my range is okay uh, so yeah I think this is uh, at least easily 35 to 40 40 yards uh, on 10 pumps right okay uh, this is all this is plastic all molded but it's really solid um, obviously you've got a shrouded barrel the barrels inside here this is all metal your rear adjustable sight um, which is you push this lever back and forth and this spring goes up and down to adjust it for elevation and you've got a little screw there with a V to just for windage and the front sight is actually a fibre optic so uh, if you can see sights pretty well it's really easy to line that fibre optic up with this this V here okay but I'll fit it a scope because um, outside 15 meters target just blurred to me I could still I could see these sights with my glasses on but I couldn't actually see the target get target very well so um, yeah it works really well cheap scope it was only I think 30 excuse me 38 pounds I think I paid for it off Amazon 6540 nickel sterling good solid cheap scope nice reticle and uh, it like I said this is only a 49 pound rifle so there you go you know it's, it's a nice little under 100 pound combination really okay so yeah pumping really good now the only things I'll show you about now is the basic maintenance uh, days you say I know you can see this in less light but you can see that uh, there's a, a black washer there felt washer just, just hold that open it's just there okay now that is quite important you keep that lubricated with they recommend engine oil actually because obviously when you pump it that pumps the air in okay so if that dries out um, you'll stop uh, pump, uh, compressing air into the cylinder and as you open that yeah it sucks air in and then at that point so you've got to open it all the way okay and then you compress it like that so you've got to see it wasn't taking any air because the bolt is closed you cannot pump this okay without that bolt being back okay and then you can pump it one two three okay and just put the bolt forward put it in the ground it's safety off and okay okay so it's, it's yeah this this bit here is actually plastic but all the internals this arm here all these internals in here are all metal your triggers metal yeah so it's really well you can fire bbs if you want to i, I personally don't out of a rifle barrel but you've got a little window here you open and you can put up to 50 bbs in there and then what it is as you pull the bolt back okay there's a little channel that runs at the side just behind the bolt and the bb comes out of there yeah and it sits in that little magnetic tray that's that's the whole point that silver bit is being magnetic because it holds your steel bb on that and then you just push it forward to push the bb into the steel barrel but don't forget this this barrel is rifled oh well i'd be shooting uh, lead pellets or, or or maybe lead uh, bbs and find i've got copper coated lead could try some of those because obviously you know it's a, co a copper coated lead bb not going to damage the, the barrel but i certainly wouldn't be fire firing steel steel balls through it uh, even if they say you can uh, you know steel on steel to me is not you know, never a good idea okay so yeah really nice quality uh, just going to show you um, the power output i did some uh, put a, a my uh, combri uh, combro cb65 on it yesterday and to see what power it was kicking out for, for pumps so two pumps 2.5 foot pounds three pumps 3.61 five pumps 5.26 
seven points, six point three nine, and ten points was uh, seven point five foot pounds, and that was using uh, Superfield to get eight point four grain. So obviously that power will vary depending on pellet weight, and also uh, probably even the uh, uh, ballistic coefficient of the actual pellet itself. So you know. Uh, you might have uh, three pellets the same way, 8.4, but they could have different ballistic characteristics, which means they'll they'll actually fly better through the air. So uh, that's all obviously at the muzzle, so it shouldn't be affected too much by a chronoscope. But uh, it, it just makes yes, there are sort of differences. Um, being a pneumatic as well, if you use a heavier pellet, you may get more power, like most pneumatics. Uh, unlike a generally springs are the other way around. But with PCPs and pneumatics, you tend to the heavier pellet, you tend to get a bit more power. So, but I mean, uh, 7.5 at 8.4 grain is, is more than enough for, I mean, you know, 35 yard shooting here, um, you know, tin can bashing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and you, really, uh, you can do 10 pumps, but uh, yeah, 5 pumps is not more than enough. Anyhow, I think I'm just about to run out of video space, so thanks for watching. Uh, good afternoon, I'm out here with my Daisy Powerline 880, uh, did an early review and I'm just going to hit, try and hit that tin now, there's a pellet tin, empty pellet tin down there at 20, 26 metres from here and I'm going to attempt to hit it um, freestanding as well, so 10 pumps, so pop the bolt back, in safety of, ok, empty pellets there, so first of all pump her up Easy to pump this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then your pallet. I said if you just pop it on that little tray and just let it roll in. Okay. Just tilt the rifle slightly towards you. It will roll into there. Push the bolt forward. Push the pellet into the breech. Okay. So freestanding. Twenty-six meters. Let's see if we can hit the cap. Okay, let's go have a look. Here we go. So there you go, that's the impact point. So it hit it almost the top of centre. Uh, that's for 26 metres freestanding with the uh, superfields uh, 8.4 grain. So it's a very tough tin zeezer, so uh, it, like I said, didn't penetrate it, uh, but uh, 7.5 foot pounds. Yeah, it's great for clinking, and that's at 26 metres, so uh, I'll push it straight out to 35 yards. So. Yeah, it's a great little rifle for tin can bashing, yeah, some target shooting, uh, or anything else. And also, five pumps is more than enough, you know, for like uh, you know, ten to fifteen yards. Thanks for watching.